doing great today happy Woden's day we are at hump day so let's find out what the oracle of the roses has to say what message they have for us today okay and let's do this one. Oh, the healer the wild rose this is the dog rose oh that's such a beautiful card look at that the healer. See this pink here? This is reminding me of our high heart. Um, and it's reminding me of the heart chakra as well. This is about self-love. And our high heart is where we hold um, some of our uh, stuff that we haven't dealt with. Like heartache that we haven't dealt with. Some pain. Sometimes anger. But here it's telling us that, you know, healing is done from the inside out. And not all things can be completely healed overnight. Sometimes it takes time. And other people can heal by watching you heal as well. You can be an example of, of how you can um, grow through something, so to speak. When something bad has happened, um, something tragic has happened, um, you know, you're not the only one that goes through these things. A lot of people go through similar things as you do, but sometimes they don't have the strength that you have. So you can be that guide that helps them um, work through the issues and work through the problems. So today is the healer card. Um, you may need this healing and you may be the healer, but know that your life can be an example and you can help others um, go through challenges and, and help them succeed in, you know, in healing on their path. So what a wonderful message. Blessings. Hello, welcome, 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 Mary Mead. It's time for a Stragomancy reading. This is Divination with the Dice. Okay, so let's see, we will number five. It's a little hard to see there, but number five, um, this is security. Your foundations will be challenged. So um, five is about change, and um, this is about, and this could be something that we're going through. Um, with numbers, this seems to be something going on with a lot of people changing directions and where they're going with their jobs and what they're doing. Many people are getting out of that hustle mentality and yes, you know, we need to make money to survive, but we're not, we're not living to work. We should work to live. And this is the kind, this is a kind of concept that many people don't understand because, um, you know, you may not be able to do the certain things that you used to be able to do. You may have to make those financial adjust, um, adjustments in order to succeed in fully living your life. This could be changing jobs. This could be changing residence. Um, it's making changes where things are necessary. Um, this is for your so evolution. So next we have, um, oh my goodness, this is chipped. I can't really, that's so a number four. It's messed up. I can't really read that, but this is about, you know, for his communication. Um, this is advising you that if you are looking for a job or a place to live, um, getting back in, getting back in touch with people that you may have lost uh, contact with um, could help you in this process as well. Um, something from the past coming up. Uh, positive things could come through this communication. So, um, yeah, you may know someone in your past that you can uh, connect with. Four is a number of, um, that is our element, earth, air, fire, and water. And it reminds us that we have what within us, what we need to create um, before us. So, yeah, use everything that you have available to you. If you're wanting to make these changes in your life, Use everything, all of your tools that you have available to you in order to make it happen. Don't, don't cut yourself short here. Use everything. You have these gifts for a reason. You have them for a reason. Now let's use them. Let's use them for the best, 
for all and for the highest good for your soul. Have a wonderful day.